All right, what is up? My name is Caleb, and today I'll be teaching you how to do basic movement in Game Maker for a 2D game in all directions. So this isn't um, anything to do with jumping and all that, but I will eventually try to do a video with the jumping. So first, you're going to have to set up a player object. So if you've already got one, then that's great. But if you don't, just make a basic uh solid color or if you want to make it proper player then go ahead and then make the object for it and make a step event so as you can see in the comment here it says movement with collision and as you can see i don't have any collisions here and i'm not going to add any and it's all done through the um, step event you'll also need a wall or a solid object that you can run into and have the solid checked on it so in here, we're going to do um, some variables. Now, it has to be done in here for it to work. This is with WASD keys and the arrow keys. Um, so what we're going to do is max keyboard underscore check um, VK up comma keyboard check odd now odd allows me to add the um letters so if i wanted to do any other letter i could press j and it would do or not j k j and it will use the j i'm not sure if it has to be a capital but i always do it just in case now the way that max works is is um it checks which is the biggest number so if i'm pressing the up key up, up arrow key then it will be a one and that's greater than this which isn't being pressed so it'll be zero and that's zero and if it's zero then it's um not going to do anything so what we're going to do here is go down um left right let's copy this save a bit of time left left right right s a d and then when we come down here we're going to go key up and place underscore three x and then y i recommend doing the whatever your movement speed is because it won't work the best otherwise say if i did y take equals 10 and it's only checking for five the pixels between me and the wall could be five away and i'd move 10 so i'd be inside of the wall so it's best to do the uh player speed in here but i'm only doing a solid number like no other variable at the moment just so I can show you what it is, um, how it's working and such. So this will be a plus five. This will be an X for take five. X plus five. Plus five. Take this away. X, X plus. Plus. I'm just going to add a comment in here. So if you haven't caught up yet, um, I'll just leave it here for a few seconds just so you can. Or you could pause it right here. Um, after this, we'll go into the room. Have your character play somewhere. Now I set up a pretty bad looking course. I've set it up to be... Uh, the snap to be 16 so I can have that little bit extra space in there because sometimes because it is a 5 5 gap and the player 32 by 32 I might not always make it through a 32 by 32 spot so I made it at least um, 48 wide so I'm just going to play the game <clears throat> Just waiting for it to compile. 
There we go. So I loaded over here, as you see in my player, I was actually over here. That's because of my save and load video where I made it. So the player will load back in to wherever I last was. So as you can see, I didn't add a collision and I am colliding with the the other objects. For some reason it's not always precise as you can see like I can go over to this ball and there's a big gap but I can go down here there's a smaller gap I go over here for some reason and there's like no gap whatsoever now I think that's because of the odd number that I'm moving by so if I set it to four it should be a little bit better and you know all the spacing should be a little bit more even um, but other than that everything is working fine so if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a like and comment if I did help you and if you want to see something else, any tutorial you want and I'll try and uh, put it out as quick as possible. Um, I recommend going and seeing my um, save and load up with INI files. It has helped me a fair bit since I learned actually how to do that. I might end up doing a video on networking eventually once I get it all down properly and try and at least remember a little bit for myself. I've recently learned how to do that as well and I might actually try and get a video out about it. So, as I said before, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, I hope you did learn something today and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!